So now we have arrived at the second lab room where we have the machines that are doing the PCR reactions for us. But even before we start, it's very important that we use this book and write the date, the name and the time and also the machine we use. And the machine we use is named Cycler 1 or Cycler 2. And this is, if something happens with the machine, it's much easier for us to trace it back. Uh, to find the problem. So when we are done writing all the essential information in this book, we are actually now ready to run the machine. So we take up our samples, uh, turn on the machine on the back side, and then you will see a green light here. And also uh, the machine will say loading, and it will take approximately one minute or two, and then you will get into the login screen. And here I have my user open already. And you can use the users we have in-house or you can ask the lab technicians to make our own user for you. So then I write in the password and press enter. And here you see that I'm already selected to my folder. And to move around, we use the arrows. Or if you need to write something, we use the keypad over here. And for selecting, it's enter. But we also have buttons here that corresponds to uh, the given menu that is just above it or the given options that is just above it. So this is bacteria. Uh, so I need a bacterial PCR1 program. And it's very important that you adapt the program you use to the primers you need. Uh, so I pushed enter, then I get up my folders. I push one down push enter again, and here we have the program. And sometimes you edit the program, change the amount of cycles, the temperatures and so on. So it's always very smart before you run it to push the button that says edit. And then you get up the program. And here you have the temperatures and the time. And you can just move uh, between it with the keypad or with the arrows. And you can then modify it. Uh, with all the numbers here. And here you need to read up on your primers. Uh, but you also need to take into account how much DNA you probably have in your samples. Because this is very important when it comes to the amount of cycles. The less cycles you can manage is always better because it uh, doesn't make as much uh, primer dimers. But sometimes you have samples with quite low amount of DNA and then you need to increase the cycles. But this here looks all good for this program and these types of samples. So then I push the button here that corresponds to the two arrows. And I haven't changed anything, so I just take exit. If you change anything, then you need to take save and then exit. So exit here. Then I take my samples carefully out of the box or out of the rack, place them inside of the machine. And here it's very important that you check that all the lids are very well closed because this is quite some high temperatures, so you can get some evaporation and you don't want evaporation of all the DNA samples between the different tubes. Okay, so after we have done that, we close the machine and then we push the start button. Then it says loading, program, and then since we are running tubes and not a plate in this instance, we need to select tubes and say OK. Uh, so now it says that it's heating uh, the approximate amount of time that is left. So this is around 50 minutes and also the temperature and it also says running and the light here is blinking. Uh, so when this is running, I strongly recommend starting with the gels. So it's prepared when the samples are ready here. It makes a better working flow and saves a lot of time. So now I have finished the gel uh, and I took a little break as well. Uh, and now the machine has been running for 50 minutes. So now it says idle here and the light is not blinking anymore. Uh, so then you push the lid 
open button and you move the lid backwards. You take out your samples and be careful, they can be quite hot. Uh, so you can try to avoid touching the plate. Then we put the samples back on the table. And then we close the lid again, take exit, uh, go all the way down to the cycler. It's not green anymore, that is also important to check. And then we need to go all the way up and take shut down, shut down, and this goes quite fast. Then it says, please turn off the power. And then we turn off the power on the back side, the same button that we used earlier. And then move to the post-PCR lab.